of the message rather than at the beginning. Some years ago now, there was an article in Newsweek magazine. And the page, cover page, was divided into six frames. The first picture was a picture of an egg that was cracked. The second picture was a picture of a chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture was the chicken looking to his right. Fourth picture was the chicken to, looking to his left. And the fifth picture was the chicken looking in front of and behind him. Picture number six, the chicken is putting the shell back over his head. First picture was a picture of an egg that was cracked. Second, second picture, the chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, the chicken looks to his right, sees something. Fourth picture, the chicken looks to his left, sees something. And the, the, the fifth picture, he looks in front of him, behind him. And the sixth picture, he's pulling the shell back over his head. As if to say, I'd rather not be born. I want to talk today about what did the chicken see. That he would pull the shell back over his head. I uh, have lived long enough to know that there are some things that are not pretty. And we live in a time where people applaud bad stuff and turn their nose down on good stuff. Y'all going to talk to me for a few moments? The first picture was a picture of an egg that was cracked. Second picture, this chicken breaks his way to freedom. Third picture, he looked to his right. Fourth picture, he looks to his left. Fifth picture, he looks in front of and behind him. And the sixth picture, he's pulling the shell back over his head saying, I'd rather not be born. What did he see? I, I want to suggest he looked at the condition of this world. See, I'd rather not be born. You know, we have a world system which suggests uh, that uh, we got more money than we've ever had before. But at the same time, people are hungry. Something's wrong with that. And uh, it's a time when there's war on every side. Every time we try to plan a trip to the Holy Land and the seniors went to uh, the Holy Land experience and got back safe, thank the Lord. Uh, but to go overseas and back people in the Jordan River, we can't go now because there's always wars in, in, in the Gulf and there are wars in the Persian area and there are wars uh, up and down the Gaza Strip. Maybe he saw that this fight was still going on between Ishmael and Abraham or their descendants and said, I'd rather not be born if I got to look in a world like this where we still have cocaine babies. As I stand here right now, there are over 1,000 babies in Chicago who are cocaine babies, who had no choice in the matter, but it's in, 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 in the system. And, and these cocaine babies who have to be fed intravenously, have to be rocked to sleep at night, and some not being able to stop shaking. Statistics prove that, uh, that, that, that 20 new people a day, even now, are uh, turned on to drugs, and half of them have a baby that is drug addicted. That means there's a 1,040 a day, 8,480 a week, 33,920 a month, 407,000 babies are born cocaine babies every year. First picture, picture of an egg that was cracked. Second picture, chicken breaks his way to freedom. Third picture, he looks to his right. Fourth picture, he looks to his left. Fifth picture, he looks in front of behind him. And sixth picture, he pulls the shell back over his head. Said, I'd rather not be born and live in a world like this, a world, a world, a world hunger. He sees wars. He sees drug addiction. He might see the modern advances of the day. You know, we have, we have lived long enough now that uh, you can buy sperm online <laughs> and have it inserted. Y'all don't want to talk back to me. We, we've, we've awakened to the day of, of the test tube baby. You can purchase sperm online and tell them what kind of, what kind of uh, traits you want. Yeah. And, and they take it and, and put it in you. Y'all seen the movies. And, 
and, and these things are happening. Maybe he saw that and said, that ain't quite what I thought the way it was supposed to be. We live in the day of transfer transplants where you can see a person walking that may have a chimpanzee liver or a baboon heart. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. And they, 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 they try anything. They'll even, they're even trying to clone us. Now, can I just go way out there? And I know I'm streaming. I'm going to get some mail about this. But I don't, I don't believe there's this much chicken in the world. Everybody, you know, all of a sudden, they got wing stops and wing zones and, and churches and heralds and, 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 and chicken everywhere you go. And, and I don't know. Some of them wings look like they might have been cloned. And, and the wing is big as my hand. You ever wonder, was it, is, that many, is it that many chickens in the world to have all of these chicken places and all these, or maybe they're just cloning wings? And he jump on wings. The like wings been shot with something. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I thought about it the other day. I said, I want, may, maybe, I don't know if it's that, many, that much hamburger in the world. I don't know if everything we eat is hamburger. Because something has happened. And you know, our young people become a little more developed now than they did years ago because they're eating this hamburger that we don't know if it's beef or not. <laughs> First picture was a picture of an egg that was cracked. Second picture was a picture of a chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, he looks to his right. Fourth picture, he looks to his left. Fifth picture, he looks in front of him, behind him. And the sixth picture, he pulls the shell back over his head and said, I'd rather not be born looks at a world that claims we are on the same team and that prejudice is a thing of the past and some of us have faced racism right here in 2014. A whole lot of what our president is dealing with in the White House is the fact that there are some people don't like the fact that a black man is in the top seat. Y'all ain't gonna preach Have nothing to do with political party, but just his skin is too dark. How would God allow a Negro man from Hawaii with a name called Obama, Hussein? They don't understand that. And the chicken sees a president trying to do the best he can for people. Our president that got gray-headed, fooling with all of these stuff. I mean, he just white and gray. And oh, God bless his heart. We got to pray his strength. First picture was an egg that was cracked. Second picture, chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, chicken looks to his right. Fourth picture, looks to his left. Fifth picture, he looks in front of him, behind him. And the sixth picture, he pulls the shell back over his head and says, I'd rather not be born. Maybe he didn't just look in the world. Maybe he looked in the home. The, the, the homes are, are, are not like, they're not like they ought to be, not like they used to be. There was a time when we ate dinner together. I'm going to preach in a minute. Well, and it was family style. You said, pass the potatoes. Pass the peas. And we had, and mom, we had to fight over the drumstick. I wish I had somebody honest. Wasn't no, wasn't no ten drumsticks. There was one chicken to all five of us. And if you got a back... Lord have mercy. With some hot sauce, you was grateful to the Lord for a back and a piece of bread. We had to take turns with the legs. Now there ain't, ain't no dinner. Ain't no dinner, family dinner. Ain't nobody saying God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. Ain't nobody saying that God. We don't eat together. Maybe at Thanksgiving. And even then, it's a buffet style. Maybe the chicken saw in the home that there are families that have to hide stuff from one another. Hey, hey, hey let me tell you, somebody got to move when you got to lock your room. It's time for somebody to go. Yeah. Somebody said, it's time for somebody to pack up your, and yeah, pack up your stuff. Help me, Holy Ghost. And come on. No, we ain't, ain't going to live in this house, and I got to hide my stuff from you. Hey, Junior. Hey, Junebug. Sally. Uh-uh. No, Aisha, Keisha. Budisha, Moesha, whoever, you're not going to steal from mama and daddy. You're not going to take your brothers and sisters thing. We come from homes where we shared the same stuff. I told me that they ain't never heard of say, uh, say, uh, drying off with the same towel. Well, just live long enough for you. There are some of us that use the same bath towel, dry it off, and thought nothing of it, and we all sometimes slept in the same bed and wasn't nothing funny about it. 
First picture was an egg that was cracked. Second picture was the picture of this chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, he looks to his right. He sees something. Fourth picture, he looks to his left. sees something. Fifth picture, he looks in front of him, behind him. And in sixth picture, he pulls the shell back over his head and says, I'd rather not be born. Maybe he looked in the family and saw there was no respect in the family. Now, I want to go upside some people's heads sometimes when I hear how they talk to their mama. I wish I had their thought about it long enough because I come from the school where a backhand slap was not a good thing. Lord, go get me a, a extension card was not a, not a welcoming moment switch whatever it was but they beat us so we would uh, oh lord have mercy and i walk through here sometime and see how some people respond to their own blood mother and blood father i wish you had been raised in another house because in the old day they would say baby i brought you in this world and i will take you out my mama told me one time i'm gonna beat the black off you that's a lot of beating. I'll beat you till you rope like okra. I didn't know what that meant. But I come together. No correction in the house. Everybody watching what they want to watch. Everybody doing what they want to do. No rules. Ah, there was a time when you had TV time. And study time. Am I preaching too old fogey because y'all looking at me? There, there, there was a time. That was dinner time. There was a curfew. I'm not talking about what the city issued, but a curfew in mama's house. And if you came in after the curfew, you might not get in. They understood that there's dangers out there and we need to make sure. And when they told us we go outside, they said stuff like stay in the front. Don't go past the gate. Be in when the street lights come on or bit your butt in here before the sun go down. things coming up. I'm not telling y'all much more. But there's some things I'm scared to do in my mama's house. She put the fear of God in me long time ago. She said, I'm going to slap the teeth out your mouth. I, I got smart. So I'm going to call the welfare people on you. Before I knew it, pow. I get an attitude and get back up. He said, quit crying. I said, I can't quit crying. He then beat the knock the hell out of me. I want to call. You said, hell am I? Hey, I, the two or three of us, well, you couldn't say lie. You had to say, I told a story. First picture was a picture of an egg that was cracked. Second picture was a picture of a chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, he looks to his right. Fourth picture, he looks to his left. Fifth picture, he looks in front of him, behind him. And the sixth picture, the chicken is pulling the shell back over his head, saying, I'd rather not be born than to live in a world like this. The home. We were taught in, in the homes of old how to use stuff that was already in the house. Hey, mama ain't got no shoe polish. Ain't no problem. Vaseline. That's right. Can I talk to some folk that ain't brand new? We run out of toothpaste. No problem. Bacon soda. We don't have no deodorant. No problem. Bacon soda. Bacon soda for everything. We ain't have no, no money to call for no pizza. Order no pizza. You got a slice of government cheese and put it on a piece of white bread under the oven and we had cheese toast we didn't have no pepperoni but we fried bologna in a skillet and it puckered up and we said thank you lord very much 
I hate it today, but I thank God for the spam that I had to live with. With a biscuit and some syrup. And wasn't, uh, wasn't this new syrup butterwork, it was alligator. Commodity meat, the uh, mystery meat come in a silver can and they cut it up and make some gravy and dare you to answer the question. Uh, tell somebody, don't forget where you come from. We didn't have money to run to the doctor and the baby had an earache. Uh, they couldn't go to the ER. They had something called sweet oil that they took off the shelf and heated it up and put a few drops in the baby's ear. Had a toothache, they get some vanilla extract and pack it on your tooth. When we had the mumps, they would open a can of sardine and put that fish grease on you. A couple of days, he'll, he'll be all right. And when all else fail, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help. First picture was a picture of an egg that was cracked. Second picture was a picture of the chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, he looks to his right. Fourth picture, he looks to his left. Fifth picture, he looks in front of behind him. And the sixth picture, he's pulling the shell back over his head as if to say, I'd rather not be born. Maybe, maybe, first Sunday in October, he looked in the world. Maybe he looked in the home, but possibly he looked in the church. And says something's wrong. These people speak in tongue, but they don't speak to each other. In the church, people have attitudes and nasty spirits and awkward uh, uh, disposition, right? In church. And they claim they were going to the same heaven. And they sing it in the same choir next to somebody that they don't like. You do know there's some people that don't like you and don't know your name and don't like you. Don't know nothing about you, but they have gathered them an opinion from what everybody else said. In the house of God. We've got a church now that has privilege with no responsibility. Sins of the church, organization with no unity, faith without works, evangelism without discipleship, forgiveness without repentance, wealth without sacrifice, and worship without reverence. First picture was a crack. Second picture was a chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, he looks to his right. Fourth picture, he looks to his left. Fifth picture, he looks in front of him, behind him. And the sixth picture, he pulls the shell back over his head and says, I'd rather not be born than to live in a world like this. Maybe he looked in the church and saw people that did not respect the power of prayer. I need about three people that know prayer works to talk to somebody and say, I know prayer works. Uh huh. Because there's some things I would not have, some things I could not have made it through, some things I could not have done, but somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me, and I'm so glad that they prayed. Somebody didn't know it works, say prayer still works. Yo, oh. I, I, I don't understand it. How can we have a church without prayer? The Bible said, my, my house shall be a house of prayer under all nations. You know, Levanja is not here today, and, 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 and I believe they're streaming. Levanja is here all last Sunday. Rodney here with her. She gets home on Monday uh, from work. Rodney slumped over. Everybody's saying, oh, my goodness. It must be a massive heart attack. It must be a massive stroke. She calls me Monday night from uh, uh, South Suburban Hospital saying Rodney has a stroke. And, and I kept saying to her, I said, Levanja, God's got it. Yeah. I said, God's got it. I, said, I believe in prayer. I said, I can come there. Uh, but let we, as I, said, I told Mildred, she said, get up. We got to pray now. We're going to pray for Rodney. Because ain't no sister running out the hospital. Everybody at the hospital. But if we, if we, we're going to have to believe this thing or quit this thing. And we went in prayer and began to pray for Rodney. And, and, and I come to tell you, it's six days later, and I, I just got a text from Levanja saying, don't go to the hospital. We're over at the rehab. Rodney's up walking. Y'all ain't hearing me. Oh, tell your neighbor, say, prayer still works. 
that maybe the people, maybe the chicken saw people that didn't believe prayer works. We're on our way home Tuesday night after a wonderful service, and Brian was driving me, and, and, and Pastor Trudy's daughter called and said, Mama's in, Mama's in a bad shape, and they're going to take her up tomorrow for a special surgery to, to shock her heart back in place. And uh, she's already signed the papers, and the papers say, Do not, uh, uh, do not resuscitate. And uh, she wanted to talk to you. I got on the phone and said, Trudy, how you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm all right, Papa. I just need you to pray for me. And they're going to shock my heart back in place. And you know I got this bad heart. You know they're going to my family. I said, okay, Trudy. Okay, Trudy. Uh, 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 let's pray. And we prayed and began to pray. Well, that was Tuesday night. Somebody said Wednesday morning. <laughs> uh, the surgery was scheduled for 6 o'clock. And uh, I get a call about a quarter to six. And I'm saying, oh, my God, it's, it's University of Chicago Hospital. I've been there twice this week. What in the world is going on? Is even Mother White or Trudy, something going on? And uh, I get a call, and Fanny and them are hollering on the phone. Say, Bishop, guess what happened? Say, on the way into surgery, God shocked her heart. Put it back in place. Don't you tell me what God can't do. Tell your neighbor, it is no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do can I tell you this before I get out of here? Because every now and then the devil will deliver you a report. And you've got to learn how to tell him not so. Because the Bible says, by his stripes I am healed. And the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous. I got two words for the week, not so. If they tell you you ain't going to get the house, not so. If they tell you you're not going to be healed, not so. If it doesn't look good at the bank, not so. Picture number one, the chicken breaking his way to freedom. A crack, breaking his way to freedom. Looks to his right, see something. Look to the left, see something. Look in front of him, behind him, and pulls the shell back over his head. He said, I'd rather not be born. What did he see? He looked in the church. And saw so people making a lot of noise, but don't live no life. There is a requirement to live something after church is over. I lost my shouting crowd. No, you didn't. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Holiness is not a denomination. It's a way of life for all of God's people. Come here, David. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Somebody tell me to preach, please. Nor sitteth in the seat of scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law does he meditate day and night. The same Holy Ghost that makes you shout, make you take, treat people right, and live right when church is over. That's right. Church is relaxed and says everything is fine. Modern day church says any kind of sin is fine. We have pacified sin so much until we have no list of things that we don't do. First picture was a picture of an egg that was cracked. Second picture was a picture of a chicken breaking his way to freedom. Third picture, he looks to his right. Fourth picture, he looks to his left fifth picture he looks in front of him behind him and the sixth picture he pulls the shell back over his head said I'd rather not be born than to live in a world like this he looked in the church and you know what I saw I think the chicken saw people who will not give God praise you know we've been in church soon to be hour and a half in a few minutes and then some of y'all ain't clapped yet Some of y'all didn't wave your hand one time as if God owed you to make it to October. Huh? Maybe he saw people that are too wonderful to give God a thank you. Too wonderful to give God a hallelujah. I'm too important to be jumping up and down like that. Well, I came to tell you, I, I, don't, I don't have to have nobody help me. But all I got to do is think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. And my soul will cry out, hallelujah. Talk to your neighbor. Say, I'm one of them that don't mind. Come on, talk to him. Say, I'm one of them that don't mind. Giving God the praise. Get a neighbor by the hand. Say, neighbor, if God been good to you in your own way, why don't you take a few minutes and give him a little glory? 
because the Bible says I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul will make a boast in the Lord the humble shall hear the and be made glad oh somebody pull it from yourself oh magnify the Lord with me ask your neighbor do you have anything to thank God for has he been good I know it was a rough year all the way January down through September but I came to tell you because you made it to October if you praise him now God is going to turn some stuff around for you. Talk to somebody. Say, neighbor, I got a whole lot coming because I don't mind giving God the praise. Hey, y'all, I'll catch you in the next service. But I came to tell you, the chicken made a mistake. Look to his right and saw something. Look to his left and saw something. Look in front of him, behind him. And saw something, uh, but the chicken made a mistake. Uh, I got to close it here. He never looked up. Uh, my scripture for the lesson uh, is Psalm 121. Uh, I will lift up mine eyes uh, unto the hill uh, from whence cometh my help. Uh, all my help. Go to seven people, say, Look up, look up, look up. Don't look to your right, don't look to your left, but look up. If you look up, he'll send you what you need. Yeah, yeah. Is there a praiser in here? Get one person by the hand. Say, neighbor, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Excuse me. But I owe him a praise because he let me cross over in October. Woo! Had some good days, had some hills to climb, but we made it to, to the 10th month of the year and I'm going to keep my eyes on him because what's to come can you tell him thank you can you throw your hands to him and tell him thank you that you had something to eat uh, the past nine months. Uh, thank you that you looked out for us. Uh, thank you uh, that over and over and over again. I ain't gonna push nobody. I ain't got no praises here. Oh, oh. When I look back over my life, uh, when I look back over my life, uh, when I look back over my life, uh, and I think things over, uh, I can truly say uh, that I've been blessed because uh, I got a testimony.